hello everyone welcome back so this is our laravel fresh project uh, so in this video i'm going to show you laravel multi authentication you can see there is no login and registration button so i'm going to add here login and registration process for this i'm going to use an starter kit that is laravel breeze so to do this we have to actually go to the folder destination i mean where actually our file uh, our project is Here you can see there this is the project and we have a common prompt here and our server is running here so i'm not going to use this i'm going to open one more common prompt here cmd and here i'm going to say that composer require laravel breeze hyphen hyphen dev sorry this one would be laravel slash breeze okay press enter so done now we'll go for it php artisan breeze install so just copy it just paste it and press enter and now uh, you just have to actually say here blade because we will select blade this one okay blade with alpine and would you like to dark mode support i will say yes and i will say zero because when i create laravel project i have actually select paste right so i will press zero press enter now let's copy this press enter nothing to migrate because we already have migrate i mean we already migrated right and we just have to actually paste it here and pm install okay successfully done and uh, now let's check if it is working perfectly so let's go there i'll refresh here you can see we have login and registration process if i go to the registration uh, so here you can see you have name email password and confirm password so i click on register and here you can see you are logged in it means registered successfully and then click on register so we have here two user you can see if i refresh on the database but actually i want to add here uh, another column and that is for the user type okay that is for the user type so i'm going to say here that okay uh, i want to add one more uh, column here and that would be user type and by default when somebody actually uh, register uh, they will register themselves as user okay so the default user type will be user and only for the admin the type user type would be admin so this is the code editor i am using here sublime text and what you have to do you have to actually go for the database right and then migration and you will find a user table here you can see for the users and here we are going to add one more uh, column right for the user type so after email I'm going to say dollar table i'm going to actually copy it i'll say pass oh, sorry this is not password uh, we need what user type right yeah user underscore type and here i'm going to say the default one default one would be user so when somebody will register uh, they will register themselves as user and will change the user type to admin from the database php artisan migrate press enter and it says nothing to migrate because uh, this is not the right way uh, to do this i'm going to actually cut it from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more migration file to add column so to do this i'm going to say uh, php artisan artisan make colon migration uh, and then i will say add column to the table name and the table name is users right here you can see table name is users and i will say hyphen hyphen table is equal to users press enter it will create a migration file here you can see uh, you uh, add to column users right and here i'm going to add uh, this column so the column default is user and now i will go for the migration i will say php artisan migrate and it will add the column if i go to the database if i refresh here you will find uh, a type and that is user type right 
so we have actually added so now i'm going to say here uh, that the user type for the yamin is admin and the normal user is user okay now uh, now i will actually create a separate dashboard panel for the admin okay and this dashboard will be for the normal user okay and we will create a separate admin dashboard for the admin so to do this we have to actually go to the routes here you can see we have routes here and then web.php okay and here i'm going to actually here you can see we have uh, this is the welcome page right okay and we have here slash dashboard so it will actually go for the uh, i mean it will actually return dashboard from here so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually remove this function from here i'm going to add a controller okay user controller and from the controller actually i will check that the user is normal user or admin if admin then actually i will redirect him to the admin dashboard and if it is user then it will actually go for the normal dashboard okay so from here you can see uh, this is dashboard and we will actually create a controller and inside app we have http then controllers and here i'm going to create a controller so i i will say here that php artisan make colon controller the controller name will be let's say user controller so we have created a controller here you can see user controller and i'm going to import this user controller here at first so i'm going to say use app backslash http controller actually i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to say user controller controller that's it now this is the user controller now we will actually i mean call the user controller here i will say user controller colon colon class comma and i will target a function that our function name will be let's say uh, index okay so i'm going to go to the user controller and here i'm going to create a function public function public function index file sorry index function right so the function name will be index and from here we are going to actually check the user is authenticated at first and if authenticated then user is normal user or admin okay so to do this we have to actually check the current uh, authenticated user so for this we have to actually say here use uh, illuminate backslash support backslash facets backslash auth so we import auth here now we will actually check auth so i will say if auth auth colon colon check okay so we'll actually check the authentication and i will say uh, actually we'll check at first if the user is authenticated or not if authenticated then we'll check if um, i will say auth colon colon user class right uh, so user table and here uh, we will actually check the user type right because the column name is user type if I go there, you can here you can see uh, we have user type here for the user table, right? So by default, auth will actually check the user table. So you can actually use here users. You have to use user, okay? Uh, and then you have to actually mention the column name, and that is user type. Here you can see user type. I'm going to say is uh, user type is equal to I will say if uh, user, then it will do something. Otherwise, else else uh, if i'll say else if i'll say if admin then it will go separate dashboard so this will be actually go to the uh, resources then dashboard right here you can see we have here dashboard.blade.php so it will actually go for the dashboard i will say dashboard and from here it will actually go for the return view and here i'm going to actually create admin folder and admin dashboard okay so i'm going to go to the resources here you can see resources and then here i'm going to go to the views and inside views i'm going to add a new folder and that is for the admin 
so inside admin we are going to create new file and that the file name will be uh, dashboard right yeah. dashboard d a s h b o a r d dashboard dot blade dot php so here you can see both name i mean uh, same right dashboard and dashboard but they are in different folders so this is not a big issue i'm going to copy everything from here but i will change something here and that is let's say this one is um, admin dashboard i will say admin dashboard admin dashboard okay now let's go here and refresh now log out now let's say i want to access dollar dashboard i mean sorry slash dashboard here you can see it's go uh, i mean it will actually took me to the login page why because uh here you can see this is uh, i mean we are actually checking here middleware right when you will use middleware nobody can actually access without authentication okay uh, i mean nobody can access the dashboard without authentication so middleware is uh, is for you know checking the authentication uh, uh, uh i mean the user is authenticated or not so it will actually check here uh so we don't need to actually use it that's it and uh, okay i can actually do here one thing and that is i will say else uh, i can actually cut it from here i can say here that end operation because end is for you know both i mean when i use and uh, it will actually check both side i mean both side need to be true if it is not true then it will actually do some other work so we'll actually cut it from here and paste it here that's it and i'm going to cut it from here remove this if clause and paste it here that's it and we'll actually check one more time auth here paste all right done now let's check let's say i want to log in as admin so login now it should took me to the admin dashboard here you can see admin dashboard although the url same but it will took me to the admin dashboard here you can see so we can actually create separate dashboard for the admin and for the user so that's it thank you so much for watching